really slippery underfoot. The sun's thawing it and it's just icy slush. It's real slippy work. Bagels and Benaglai. final summit. Monroe three of the day.
ice over that we have down. So yeah, it's really treacherous. The ice over this side, people are obviously um, experienced all the softer snow on the way in and then we also have there. But yeah, we're back down in this VLAC now. I think this is where we're going to pitch the tent. So we've done all the rows we need to do and we're just going to chill out. We can easily walk out if we wanted to, but that's not the point. It's nice to actually be out for a wild camp in the snow. Not bad view back behind me. So yeah, we're going to get the tent out and put that up and we'll uh, get everything set up and come back at you. Ben McDewey in the background. I think we're pretty pitched nicely. All pegged in. Guide out. Got snow stakes around here and on those two side ones. Four corners. I've used those big MSR. Welcome to my palace, MTV, welcome to my cribs. Yeah, got some chickpeas. And I'm sitting amongst the down products. All the down products, sleeping bag and quilt, hammers. Yeah, I just checked and it's, uh, checked on the coast yeah, 15 mile an hour wind, so nothing too bad. It says it's zero degrees just below and uh, with the wind chill it's minus seven. So it's chilly out here in the wind, you can feel it. It bites with the with the wind, but it's nothing bad really. It's it's pretty chilled. I thought we were gonna have a lot a lot clearer sky than this tonight. Yeah, the weather. A lot of cloud. Said it was gonna be clear. We've got, the we've got time. um but no signal up here, but we can check the weather forecast on the uh inreach. Have a little look. Mm. So yeah. But the tent's in, so it's good. good. I think we've got a really nice solid pitch. We've got the tent mill poles as well, so very, very solid tent here now. I mean, you could really notice that is very cool. Like, I think you could absolutely take a batter in in this, can you? Cool. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's how you get water in the mountains when there's no running water around. Melt the floor. Well, we're at eight, 850 meters up in this Bila. And there's lit, there's no running water, everything's frozen solid, uh, as you will have seen. <laughs> so yeah, it's always good if you've got a little bit of water still left in one of your bottles or something. It's easier to get it started than if you just start with snow, but you can do it anyway. And then you just keep adding, and then you've got unlimited, unlimited drinkings. What you got cooking? This is real termat pasta in a tomato sauce. It's probably one of my favourite if not favorite dehydrated meal. It's just really simple and really tasty. So yeah, that's what I'm eating. What about you? Delightful. You I have also real turn up. But it's squash and sweet corn casserole, which is one of my favorites. That is a good one. These are both it's good ones. Delightful. Would highly recommend. Would highly recommend. <laughs> so we're pitched up here. Pretty beautiful. There was the last Monroe of the day. Up 
starting to get really cold out here now, so I'm gonna have to jump in again. Just taking a few pictures, but ooh, it's chilly. Mostly just your hands get real cold, even with two pairs of gloves on. But yeah, we're all good. Everything's good. <laughs> Too little down. I'm 90% down. Yeah, I'm coated in down. Oh, it's delightful. As you can see, we're all tucked in and uh, we've had <laughs> had our snacks, had some nice holics as well. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty much getting ready to fall asleep gradually. Uh, Megs has got an audio book on. Mm. No signal out here, so it's just what's downloaded on her phone. I think it's only it's only half past eight, but you know. Feels like midnight. Yeah. It's been a busy old day. So yeah, it was a really good day. Beautiful route. Stunning yeah. conditions. Yeah, it was lovely. We helped out a few people who <laughs> <laughs> came a cropper with the ice. Yeah. Um and got three Newman rows in, which is really cool. And yeah, really cool little wild camping spot down in this Bilach as well. Hopefully mm. we'll wake up to a beautiful sunset, fingers crossed as always. Yeah. So we'll set our alarm for that. Um, yeah, I'll show you. We've put our boots inside just to make sure it doesn't freeze. I just checked, it's minus three outside air temperature and uh, the feels like very mild wind, very, very light wind. The feels like it's still like minus eight though. Um, but yeah, it should get even colder tonight. So I'm sure we'll be snug in here. All right, I guess we'll see you in the morning. Night, friends. There you go. It's just a really light plastic bag that sort of a, got a parcel delivered in it at some point and it's um, good enough and doesn't weigh more than probably about six grams or so. And there's both of our boots, so it should stop them from freezing. And the water is also in the tent. So all the important bits and then batteries and everything will also stay either in with us or in our sleeping bags, quilts, or I've got one of these little things that I often put my batteries in. So yeah, that's it. Now you can see. Got some water on the boil. Well, I had a tiny bit of water left from last night. I always try and keep a little bit. And then that got it started so that I could then add snow. So I've added snow to fill the rest of the pot up. So getting that going. And then we've got, got coffee and powdered milk in here. So yeah, gonna make some coffee. And then we've got some, one of these bars for breakfast each. Maggie's is just out there taking photographs at the moment. Show you what it's looking like. There she is. And that's what it's looking like this morning. 
Very, very beautiful, isn't it? Make this coffee and come have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. coffee and our breakfast and we've admired these views in both directions and all around and now just starting to pack everything up haven't seen anyone yet this morning at all no one's been down so yeah Maggie's just packing up I'm gonna start packing up as well get all of this kit and everything packed away get the tent down and then we're dropping down that way If you've got an Acto and an Alec, you can use the Acto bag for the Alec. It does fit. It's obviously a slightly tighter squeeze, but it's not that difficult to get in at all, really. Uh, especially if you roll it up tight. And it saves you a little bit of pack weight and a little bit of pack size as well. Well, sadly, like all good adventures, this one has to come to an end. And this is that end. Time to say goodbye to you. It's been pretty awesome though. Yeah, it's lovely to be back out filming for YouTube together. Um, we're back at the start pretty much. We've got Khan Leaf behind us. Uh, about a 21k route with 1,500 meters of ascent. So yeah, yeah. yeah, decent little route.
nice snow, great conditions. Yeah, it's really beautiful, highly recommend it. It's sort of a Beneglow loop and uh, the wild camp, as you will have seen, just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, what a spot, what beautiful sunset and sunrise as well. Yeah and nice and cold. No rain for a change. Oh. So yeah, that's it now. Just heading back onto the car, a couple of kilometers left, and then a couple of hours and we'll be home. It's a Sunday so we can chill out as well. Yeah, just have some food and relax on the couch at home. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. As always, if you have, then please do think about subscribing, check out some of our other videos on our channel. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions or anything you want to talk about, then leave it down in the comments below. Um, if you want to know anything about any of the gear we've used or the route itself, then just ask us in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram at Outdoor Intrigue. And otherwise, take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Cheers.